cannot wait. I, I, I was surprised you've been doing it for so long because it burned me out so fast. That's right. I forgot you were also a DIT, right? Yeah. I, I mean, I just, I, I couldn't do those when I was moving around working 18 hour days for six days a week or, you know, I wasn't in any union or anything. So I was just doing what I could. Yeah. Check. There we go. All, All right. right. Gonna make it work. I was yeah. shooting a lot of music videos too, so I was uh, like music, all over the place. Music videos are the worst. Yeah, they really just are like not good. Uh, it says I have more than just one. I'm just checking the Plex now. Let's see. Do I have? It says I have a lot more than just four. It was seven, I think. Seven. But I, I I put in a request a couple days ago for some like classic movies yeah i see it i see it on i see it on my queue um and it's there but for some reason it says i only have yeah seven like you said yeah what's what is up that behind you are those are those board games or are they yeah they're board games so uh the company i work for is out of seattle and this is a lot of their line i uh stream some of their board games on a regular basis so i just didn't want to change everything in the background <laughs> No, no worries, my friend. I wouldn't change it up for us anyways. We like the authentic approach. Man, I'm just like... You all right over there? Yeah, dude, I'm not even playing. I've played way too much WoW the last few days. Where's Ashy at? He is uh, hiking in the woods. He decided to leave us, leave us away, so uh, Matt came He's doing Ashy us. things. Yes, he's doing Ashy things, which I will get to do soon. I'm very excited. Oh, you get to do some Ashy things too? I can be a human being. Uh, I mean, that's debatable. That's all. Yeah, you're not. You're not wrong. <laughs> Yo, what's up? All uh, right. Yep. Uh, yeah. I see this. Oh, do you know what it is? I know what it is. I changed up all of my quality settings to do like super high quality stuff. That's why it's not grabbing anything. Ah. Uh, let me adjust that. Um, I don't like the color of this monitor. This one looks so much better. What did I do differently? Did you said it's 4K, so it's only grabbing 4K movies. No, it's it's set to it's set to. I have 1080, but it's like set to like grab like 30 gig film uh, files as oh. opposed to like you know zero to 30 gigs. That's what it is. Yeah. So um, I'm gonna have to go down and fix all that. Later. So that's why it's doing. I changed a bunch of stuff. It's like, oh, this will be great. And then I realized that nothing worked. Which is how everything works, and I just haven't had the time to figure it out. But yeah, I see all like oh my the. Oh, so uh, better. What, your monitor? Yeah. It was like the brightness was all. I, I didn't even realize how dim it was. Yeah. All right, cool. We're here. Right, turn on my studio lighting if I need to. Oh, you're good. No, you're, you're perfect, my... man. You're perfect. You're a perfect. Uh, 4,000 Kelvin compared to everybody else at, at 2,800. <laughs> it's probably shining off my head. Oh, good. How All do right. you prevent that? Don't you have to put like a... Uh, diffusion. Isn't there like a makeup you have to put on or something? No, just lighting. Just diffusion. Oh. You can. Like, I've got two studio lights up that I could turn on and turn this overhead off. But It's all good. I'm ghetto. I have this one light. It's called Florida Sunlight. Yeah. And it's brighter than... Any, do that real quick, if that's right. any light sure. that anybody could create. Yeah. Yeah, what's up, Genlock? Yeah, we're all good. Just chilling. I'm excited to get into... Uh... Now you just want to talk smack about Resident Evil 8. I mean, you're not wrong. You just, you've, been, you've been itching to come on here and just... Put me in my place. It's... I mean, yeah, we're we're gonna get into it. We're gonna, we're gonna do the up, we're gonna do the update on the uh, on the bet. The update on the bet. All right, shall we get going? Yeah, sounds good. What's up, everybody? Welcome to the Overachievers Gaming Podcast. I am your host, Vash, joined as always by Chef Crondo. Ashy Pastrami is out and about hiking in the woods. Hopefully, he will come back and join us soon. But joining us in his place this week is Big Papa MJ. What's up, buddy? How's it going? It's going well, man. How are you? Doing well, doing well. Big Papa MJ is a frequenter of our Discord and a, uh, a fellow alliance mate from 
uh, what was it, Alpha Flight? Is that what we were all in? Yeah, the, the game that shall not be named. The game that shall not be named. Uh, yes, Ashley lives in the woods now with a pizza oven. Yes, exactly. I'm officially, I'm officially two weeks free of, of uh, any mobile games at all. It's fantastic, right? It's, it's it how freaking great. How relieving is it to be done? Well, my, my screen time went from an average of 10 hours a day to three and a half to four hours a day. Yeah, it's wild, right? I just got my update yeah. that said... I was the average screen time of five hours. I was like, I, yeah. I haven't and seen that And you know what's funny is I think a lot of that is when you're actually like, I, I didn't think about it, but like when I leave Discord open and I'm using Discord for something or talking to people, that counts as screen time, which like, I guess like I don't quantify that as screen time. And it is technically, right? Technically, yeah. But I mean, uh, I'm still it's... blitzing every two hours. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hey, man, <laughs> look, there's nothing wrong with mobile gaming. I think that people like myself that have... Uh, the FOMO addiction, where it's like you, you, you just like can't, you, you feel fucked if you miss out on something, right? And it's like that just started to eat away at me, and I was realizing that every day I was just more cranky than I usually am because I'm already an angsty dude. But yeah, I just it hit a point where I'm like, you know what? Actually, it was when I was talking with Schuberger on the Alternate Reality podcast, and uh the more we were talking about it i was like fuck i think i'm addicted to this game you know like i think i have a problem with these things so um anyways that was a well, hopefully future revolution will come out soon and then we'll... i cannot wait for that game if there's one game that i'm looking forward to and i actually have more time to play which is actually i'm like oh my gosh like me starting a new did i talk about this on the new pod yet did i say that i'm no I'm I it's thought. actually it's actually a big thing for both of us right because i think we both start uh yeah, we start new new things happening and whatnot. Gigs. So for those who are not in the in the know and who are on our Discord, which by the way, you can find us on Instagram at og.podcast or Twitter's over to P. Our website is B, oh, ooh, almost said being over to OG Podcast FM. We're gonna get this episode and every episode where we talk about pizza ovens, video games, and what we're doing um, you know, outside the world. And how bad Ashley sucks at Mike Tyson's punch out, apparently. Oh my goodness. I do I really wish he was here so we could like I, seriously, how do you get knocked down by Glass Joe? Like I have to know how like I've even said to myself, how is it possible for any human being to, to attempt getting knocked out by him? And he did it. He, and I wasn't there to see it. Full on. Oh my well, there's always this the, the replay, right? There, we can I'm gonna have to watch I'm gonna have to watch that. I'm gonna have to review this and give him some cliff notes on how to smash my Texans punch out yeah we'll have to we'll have to take a look but anyway uh with that you can also find us on discord at discord.me slash og podcast which is our link to our discord and um that gets you all that stuff as well as if you're not if you're tired of us listening or if you're not tired of us listening oh my god i cannot speak today if you are not tired of us promoting uh noob energy you definitely should uh go get some at og noob the OG podcast.fm. You can use the promo code OG15 to get 15% off any order. Not just once, but any order. They're fantastic. Uh, they're great for overnights, which is uh, what I've been using them for. And they're great people. And Shit, they're... I could have used some of that this last week, man. You should have gotten some noob and played some World of Warcraft because I'm very. I'm, you would have been like level 90 and it's not even released yet. <laughs> that's, what it would be, that's what would have happened. I could use that right now. But anyway, uh, yeah, so with all of that, let's. Uh, um, a big Papa MJ. Do you prefer that or do you just prefer Matt? What Either you... way, it doesn't matter. I, I'm Big Papa MJ on like all my socials and things, but I, th I stream for a different company. So why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself then and uh, your your company, what you hear, what's all that in the background? You know, since it's kind of your thing now, your that what yeah. that you do. So yeah, I'm a full time board game designer and developer now. So I, I work for a company called Ravensburger North America. Um, it's spelled like Ravensburger, but it's Ravensburger because they're a German company. Um, they're based out of Seattle, and I do some board game streaming for them and uh, do some online one-on-one -on -one demo work and also do uh, some play testing for their prototypes that they're trying to put out. That's awesome. I, ha I know I have a, fr a few friends who are super into board games, and they're just like trying to get me to do it, um, like some people in the industry. And I was just like, yeah, it's okay. But then I Yeah, but I'm now you have time. Now I have time, so yeah. There you go. But with that, so I guess... Can um, I ask a question, actually, about this? I'm, yo, I'm wildly curious what that Princess Bride b board game is behind you, or even the Jaws one, man. So uh, that is Princess Bride, the adventure book game. Um, the way it works is, like, yeah, there's a storybook inside Okay. with six chapters, 
and you actually play as the characters from The Princess Bride. It's completely cooperative of game oh, of the story them. all the way through to, you know, preventing the wedding and rescuing the princess and there's a lot of flavor in that game you get to play as all the characters Inigo and Fezzik and uh, so it's you get to play as Inigo Montoya? Yep. Nice. You get to, you get to say the, the You the killed my father. Lines Prepare to today. die. And yeah, Jaws Classic. is a good game too. It's a one versus many. Um, the company Ravensburger, they do a lot of licensed games. So uh, their biggest line is uh, Villainous, and they have a Disney version and a Marvel version where you actually play as the villains. And uh, I know we're all Marvel fans. You get to play as Ultron and Hela. And nice. they've got a new expansion coming out with Loki that everybody's excited about. The expansion should be out in August. That's, That's cool. Dope. So yeah, I spend a lot of my time playing board games, but I play a lot of video games too. So. What's yeah. your favorite board game? Oh lord, that's a, like asking me my favorite top three dog. Top three. Um, <laughs> I, I there's a game called Legendary, which is a Marvel deck builder, which I'm I've always been a fan of. It's been out for probably close to ten years now. Um, that's one of my favorite games. I love Betrayal at House on the Hill. I'm a big horror guy, so uh, Betrayal at House on the Hill. It kind of uh, it's uh, plays up to six players, which is nice. But halfway through the game, the game it kind of turns on its head, and one of the players is revealed to be the traitor that like locked you all in this haunted mansion, and then you have to try to escape as they're hunting you down. So that one's a good one. Wow, um, that's kind of rad. Yeah, my girlfriend she plays games too, so it's real nice that you know we can do that as a couple and spend some time together if we get time you know yeah ever elusive free time that's what we're all clamoring for right that's, that's yeah why we want uh the, the the not to work like 90 hours a week to be able to do cool stuff and spend time with those we love imagine yeah. that wanting to spend time with people we care about but you mean so. you don't work 90 hours a week i do that's what i'm it. saying i know i mean i enjoy it but then sometimes my work fam you becomes don't. the real fam that's about it um as uh, as Matt knows, he was also once in the industry doing what I used to do, or doing yep. what I do. So it's just funny how that all works out. Um, anyway, where can people find you streaming all that stuff so we can kind of uh, take a look at it if we want to watch it? So I do some uh, personal streaming on uh, you know Twitch and Big Papa MJ. Um, that's my handle across all the socials. But for Ravensburger, it is Ravensburger Global on. Uh, Twitch and on YouTube, it is Ravensburger North America or Ravensburger NA. Cool. And so awesome. again, that's Ravensburger spelled like Ravensburger. Awesome. And we'll put those links in the uh, description below if anybody wants to take a look at those. Or if you want, um, we'll post some also links in our Discord at discord.me slash OG podcast. Everyone should just come hang out in our Discord. I know it's been a little light. Lately, for activity, just because I've just been getting my ass kicked at work, and I have not been had the energy or the cell phone service to be able to to be hanging out in the Discord as yeah. much as I want. Uh, and yes, and I, I know, know life'd, uh, I know, no life wow the last week, so I feel like I've been living under a rock. You look like you've been living under a rock. For those who whoa, haven't, whoa, whoa. I mean, I mean, with the hair, you're disheveled. Like I actually like shaved this morning. I cut my beard <laughs> off. Fine. Um, but like, uh, if you haven't seen, uh, if you haven't seen. Um, or if you're watching this or listening to this, you can always check us out at youtube.com slash OG Podcast. No, wait, that's not correct. It's, uh, it's on, it's, we haven't hit the 1,000 subscribers yet to be able to get the custom name, but we will eventually. I think we're pretty close. By pretty close, I mean a third of the way there. So we're, we'll, we'll get there eventually. Um, but for those who are paying attention who haven't been on the Discord, if you notice I'm pushing the Discord real hard today. I don't know why I just decided to do it. <laughs> um, I've actually... Uh, Taking a next chapter of my life, as well as Crondo, in uh, I'm getting out of the set life. I will no longer be working on sets. I'm going to work for a software company called Frame.io. Is that what you're IO. doing? Yeah, it's a software company. I feel so, like I've heard of Frame.io. Isn't what do they do? Frame.io is a uh, it's like a kind of a uh, collaborative workplace for uh, creative types. So essentially, it's like you know, it's think of it like Vimeo on crack. I mean, that's a terrible description of it, but essentially it's like you can like upload a video for like review. And I use it a lot for clients and, and color work and just for anything I'm working with like a different agency or that kind of stuff, I, I upload the video to that. Um, they can stop, pause, write some comments, 
those comments will show up on their web browser. And also, like, if I have it linked to my Premiere, uh, it'll also show up. Those comments will show up on my timeline for editing, which is fantastic. So that'll be on there, as well as, like, you can stop and, like, circle things, and it'll pop up, too. Um, and, and it's a, it's a big uh, collaborative platform for creative types, as well as, <clears throat> excuse me, they're getting into, they just released something, like, two months ago called Camera to Cloud, which essentially is, like, you can plot, you can put these, I don't have one with me, but it's, like, a, it's a little box, it's about as big as your cell phone, that goes on the camera, will connect to a Wi-Fi or cellular network in the area, and then will upload... Um, once it, it takes the record flag from the camera and will allow it to upload immediately to their servers and therefore you have instant playback reviewing um, in the cloud on their systems so that way you can have like clients in London or Korea or Japan or Australia or wherever uh, so you don't have to fly them out and they can see stuff immediately for review they can make comments and all that sort of stuff so it's pretty cool um, and that's what I'm going to be working on is a lot of that stuff. It, it really takes some of the skill sets that I've been developing over the past 15 years in the film industry. And I've always been like, you know what? I kind of, I've just been like getting my ass kicked lately and I just haven't been having a good time. And this is an opportunity that popped up that I kind of had to take because, you know, they don't really come very often. And the worst case scenario is if I don't like it or it's not for me, then the film industry is always here. So. Yeah, you just go right back to it. Yeah, but I'm hoping it works out because it's great. It's all work from home, so I can work anywhere in the world. It's or it's remote, so I can work anywhere in the world if I want to. So we can go on vacation, do stuff, visit people. That's whenever, dope. When things are starting to uh, yeah, that's open sweet. back up, remote is and the then, way of the future, man. I mean, it's great because you know I can get more stuff done. I can literally just I I'll have a schedule. I'll be able to work out. Oh my god, I can't wait to actually like go for a run in the morning. I used to do that all the time, but like. When I was had days off, like oh, I don't want to, I don't want to go for a run because now I'm like wasting the day. I'm sweating. I'm just like, I'll oh, just get up two hours early, go for a run. It'll be fine. And there you go. Yeah, there's More something you said for like setting your own schedule. That's just a godsend. Yeah, I'm. That is what I'm most excited for is just having a set schedule and looking forward to just being able to do stuff. I feel like whenever during the week, like I have to cram all my stuff that I want to do in on the weekends, and then we do this podcast, so that's two hours gone. So, which is why we we switched to, to bi-weekly. But now I have more time to do that. I'll be have more time to stream. Go figure. Like be more active on stuff. So I'm like, I'm, get his I'm platinum obsessed. trophy count up. Yeah. Oh, I'm getting there. Don't you worry. We'll we'll talk oh, about that. Yeah. Uh -huh. we'll, uh -huh. we'll have the ge the gentleman's bet going. Uh, uh yeah. Yeah. That. But anyway, I'm I'm excited for it. But chef, there's something new for you too, right? Yeah, I took on a. Well, I've been so I've been contracted with a company for the we do like orthodontics, clear liners, and things like that. And uh, I actually just took a full time position with them, so I'm pretty excited as their uh, digital marketing manager. So, which is Every, like everyone's moving huge. up, man. Yeah, it's huge because I was failing as a developer for many years. I I failed to find a job for many years as a developer. I failed to like you know get involved in being a Twitch streamer for Marvel Strike Force, which I'm so glad I failed at because that would have been one of the no offense to anybody that does it for a living, because we have friends of the podcast that do it for a living. Personally, just would not be something that I would enjoy. So, um, yeah, I'm pretty excited about it. It's the first time I've ever been on a salary before in my life, like, you know, which is Wild funny, day. right? Because it's not like I'm a slacker. It's just that in the culinary world, it's very, 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 very seldom that anybody that outside of the head chef or the GM actually make a salary. So, because everybody's in the hourly. So mm -hmm. it's pretty. It was pretty big. Uh, that and I, I've, been, I've been able to set my own schedule for a long time, and now I don't have that liberty anymore. But uh, you know, the dollar signs just blinded me. So I was like, you know, <laughs> I'll, I'll I'll deal with that for a while. Well, even still, like you can still take side projects here and there. You know, if you really want. I already to. did. <laughs> <laughs> Good for yeah. you. Yeah, this healthcare company came to me. They're like, we need nine websites that all look the exact same. I'm like. I uh, think I can make that happen. Yeah, I think I can do that. So. All, all while trying to uh, know life World of Warcraft. So, Yeah. One hand on the keyboard. Yeah, I got one hand on the keyboard, one hand on the phone. You know, you just, yeah, I can I can play WoW and talk on, do business calls at the same time. You know, they have no idea. Yeah, it totally makes, sounds like that would work <laughs> uh, yeah. quite well. So, all right. So, let's talk about video games and what we're doing, playing, what we're looking forward to. A lot of stuff. So, Matt, tell us about you know things you're playing uh, right now, board games yeah, I, or video games. 
uh, video games, I've been on like a classic RPG kick yet lately. So hell I yeah, just, I just finished Final Fantasy seven, VII, eight, and nine. Went through okay. three back to back. Which one was your um, favorite? I think nine is still my favorite. nine. Yeah, I know it's hot take. Nine was my favorite when I was a kid. It was the first one I played. I played them in reverse: nine, eight, then seven. Okay. So this time I went seven, eight, and nine, and I still think nine is my favorite. And why do you think nine is your favorite, or why is nine your favorite? <laughs> why do you think I... nine is your favorite? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Whoa, coming in hot. Damn. The, the story isn't as hot maybe as seven and eight, but I just love the gameplay and uh, the trance system. Kind of sucks at times, but. Uh, it's I just I have a blast with it. I like all the characters and I think the the kind of cartoony style of it just appeals to me more than uh, you know some of the gritty realism of seven and eight. Well, seven was a dark story and eight yeah. was a love story. So yeah. I mean I mean, it makes sense, you know. Nine was kind of like the I've always said that that was like the lighthearted cheeky game they rolled out with to like lift the mood of the, the darkness and you know, love story of seven and eight, but yeah, they're all great. I'm not, I'm not knocking it. Just yeah, just started Dragon Quest eleven um, since I've, I beat uh, Final Fantasy nine. So, but I'm I'm not that far into it. Maybe twenty hours. You which... how do you feel about the Dragon Quest series as a whole? So this is only the second one I've played. I only played one more. Um, I think it was Dragon Quest eight, mm -hmm. and uh, it is also very like lighthearted and cartoony style. So. But this one I'm having a little issues getting into. It's this. I feel like at 20 hours in, I should be a little more along than I am. But, you know, like I said, during the week, I kind of set my own schedule so I can, you know, take a couple hours to grind some levels and do all that classic. I love Red. classic RPGs, man. I miss them. I wish they would actually, like make more of them instead of coming out with these crazy hyper advanced rpg games like i know i know why they won't do it because they won't you know sell as well but unfortunately like the sector of probably people like yourself and myself we would love for them to come out with some modern day classic style rpg games yeah well and that and plus people have like they want more for their 60 bucks now you know they yeah. want to be like oh my gosh i need to have these all these systems and complications and blah 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 and like I mean, I guess like if you if they came out with it and then had it for like I don't know twenty thirty dollars. I mean, I don't know. I'm not a developer. I have no idea. But yeah. at the same time, it's just that I understand why they don't do it. But this, but then it's it's you know frustrating at times. But as a fan, it is. But for them, they don't care. Oh yeah, they don't care. It's all about the dollars. It's fine. Which perfectly. There's been a few good indie ones come out over the last couple of years, but I haven't been able to get to all the ones that I want to. Yeah, Octopath is the only yeah. RPG that's come out in the last like five years that I would say is like a true classic style RPG that I can think now, of. Octopath is on Game Pass now, so I'm hoping to get to. Is it really? Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely. I've been Might meaning to, to check that out. It, I've been meaning to like. I know I played it for Switch. I'm like it was all right. Like I, I don't know. I had a hard time getting into it, but it's um. I have to check. Have that's to check the thing. That. It's 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 a it's a slow paced old school game. Like that's why I don't yeah. know. That's why I liked it. But um, I need to now that's on game. I only got to play the the demo of it. So I'm excited to uh, now that I have Games Pass on my new PC. I'm gonna have to uh, try it out. I'll look at you. All fancy. I just need a I need a remaster of Chrono Cross something. Chrono Cross. Oh yeah, yeah Chrono that's Cross, Chrono well. Trigger, man, yeah. So yeah, Chrono Cross was fantastic. I remember that coming out. And w wasn't there a third one too that came out after that? I don't remember. I th I'm not sure. I think it's only the two. But Chrono only... Trigger is my favorite game of all time. So yeah, I, it actually surprises me that they. I wonder if it's one of those things where they don't have the license to redo it, or they don't want to mess with it because it yeah. really shocks me that they have not done something with it considering it is like probably one of the biggest titles on super nintendo actually if i'm not mistaken it's one of the most expensive cartridges to find if you can find it um but yeah i mean they've put that game out so many times i think i have like five different copies of that game on different systems <laughs> yeah you know, it's also like on ios or android or something else too so i've, I've definitely True. seen that um uh all over the place and i've, I've contemplated buying it for ios I'm like, oh, I can get lost in this game. But then I realize like, how long uh, of a game that is. I'm just like, yeah, I've, I've played it yeah. too many times on emulators. I'm like, I just don't. 
And it's also like, I mean, it's 15 bucks still, but I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm good for now. And then I say that after spending you know, hundreds of dollars on Marvel Strike Force. So. But either way, um, so, uh, uh, Karanda, what are you playing? I guess we all know what you've been playing, but. Sorry, I muted myself to type in the chat. Um, I have been playing way too much World of Warcraft, Burning Crusade. So my three of my friends and I, we took off Wednesday, Thursday, Friday from work. And uh yeah, it's been it's been real uh yeah. So I started right. level sixty on Tuesday night and I'm currently six halfway through sixty nine. Uh, to 70. My two friends have already dinged 70 because they're assholes and they uh, can actually quest stuff. I'm the prop paladin, so I can go out and just like slap people with my shield and take hits. Mm -hmm. And it blows epic proportions to try to quest by yourself. So uh, that's what I'm trying to do right now because I'm tired of running dungeons with people. But I've had, you know, the um, emotions of like, oh, this is badass. This is so fun to like, oh, why are you doing this? Like, oh, it's been a... Uh, it's been a roller coaster of emotions the last five days, but it's been fun, and I'll ne probably never do anything like this again. I say that, but I, uh, I don't think I could ever like sit down and dedicate this much time to a video game ever again. Part of it was because I do start the full time job next week, and I was like, you know, I should just like get it out of my system, go ahead and hit seventy, so I can enjoy like raiding for the next few months and not have to worry about leveling and gearing and attuning and all the stuff you have to do in the in the burning crusade expansion for the raid dungeons and uh i'm excited though it's been fun i've made, made some new friends and uh found a group of people that i really enjoy hanging out with which i think is one of the things about world of warcraft i miss the most is like the community around it right because like in world in in mobile gaming communities there's a little bit of an attachment where either you're a streamer that talks to chat or you're talking in discord or the game chat Whereas in WoW, it's like, you know, you're more face to face with people. Well, not face to face isn't the right word, but you're, you have more communication with people and, uh, it's, you know, the conversations are definitely, uh, more colorful, I guess. And, um, <laughs> you know, there's, there's a lot of, uh, a lot of trash talking, at least in my group of people, it's, you know, it's a lot, I play with a lot of New Yorkers and, uh, you know, my pe people what like myself. What are, you or, what are you trying to, what are you trying to say? New Yorkers are very blunt and uh, they're, they're very, yeah, very forward, uh, and they like to they like to poke fun and talk smack. Like it's it's a mentality I was raised by, so that's why I get along with them, you know. But uh, yeah, I wasn't saying anything bad, Charlie. Cool, slow down there, buddy. <laughs> I've always wanted to to hop into a massive multiplayer game like that, but I'm such a completionist. I know it would just ruin my life. If you were ever to get into one, I would suggest Final Fantasy XIV, personally. Um, <clears throat> only because WoW is so... It, like, for example, people if we find people that are coming from retail that have never played Burning Crusade before. Because Burning Crusade came out in 2006, which is when I started playing WoW, right? So people that are playing retail are playing an entirely different game, where like everything is just, you know cherry picked and you know they they literally like hey pick up this quest and then go this way and then turn it into this guy right here you know with like big arrows and in you know old school wow they did not do that for you so <clears throat> uh, i find it to be a little bit dated in that sense and if you're not into that kind of gameplay it would probably not be as immersed you wouldn't be as immersed in the gameplay as you would for somebody like myself that knows how to play the game now 14 final fantasy 14 the storyline, that's what, it's what you're basically doing, is you're playing through the storyline as you're like you're progressing through the game, and you can have one character and change your class to any class you want. You don't have to make like 50 different characters, which I've always thought was a genius system, like the job system or whatever. And uh, that's just my opinion on MMOs. Like, I think I think Final Fantasy XIV is probably one, probably the best out there right now, but I'm. A nostalgia nerd and we've been talking about classic rpg as well wow is my shit so you know that's just me fair enough yeah i downloaded uh city of heroes back in the day <sighs> and i always said i was gonna hop into it and then yeah. i just know once i do that's like hundreds of hours and I it's a slippery slope man complete everything so i'm I, i'm too ocd for that yeah see wow would be bad for you because they have the achievements thing and that's uh, the yeah, problem that, would, that i that would, find that would destroy me yeah, one of the guys we were playing with, he was like, "Yeah, I hope my my husband won't let me put uh, or won't play 
Burning Crusade because when they add the achievement system, which is the expansion that they actually added it in, it was like halfway through Burning Crusade. He's like, you know, my husband's like addicted to completing things. Like he just will not stop. So he's just like, I'm not playing Burning Crusade. And I was like, yeah, I mean, that's, you know, yeah. yeah. At least he's at least he's a, uh, mature enough to actually assess that he has a problem with that stuff, you know. But um, that yeah. was. That was totally my problem with it too. I would just constantly just be like, okay, well, we can do this, and then and then I just would, you know, constantly just try to get all the achievements all the time. Didn't matter if they meant anything. It's just it's the tick box that you know I had to figure out. But at the same time, it's just like you know, my wife's like, why don't you clean the house? I'm like, give me a list, make it an achievement, and I'll get it done. <laughs> you got to give me a title work. like the the master of cleaning or something and then I'll and then I'll do it, you know. Yeah, 100%. And then I, that's that's how I that's how you trick me into getting stuff done just make it worth like make, make, yeah, give me like a, a sash or something. I don't know. Yeah, Amanda just works. needs to like go to a, find a uh you ever, did, you ever, did you ever watch Parks and Recreation? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, you know how Leslie Nope like always likes to make signs for things in the show? Mm -hmm. Amanda needs to go ahead and be make friends with the people that make uh medals and trophies and things like that and just have them make like a infinite amount of platinum trophies and you she could just engrave whatever she wants on there and be like, Hey, Charlie baby, this is the platinum trophy for dusting the house, you know. Here you go if you want to earn this. Yeah, Dash will be up there two seconds like <laughs> Yeah, exactly. Well, <laughs> Just I just need it needs I need like the uh the you've done this three days in a row or five days in a row kind of situation that I'm gonna get. Well, even even still like with the achievements in like on the Peloton, I could still have a hard time sticking to it. Time restraints, but anyway. Uh, so I have dived back into Assassin's Creed Valhalla because they just released the new DLC, The Wrath of the Druids, uh, about okay. two week two weeks ago. Nice. And I have not had a, really a chance to dive into it too much. I'm probably like an hour in. So I just got to Ireland. I was like, all right, this is kind of cool. And then I realized it's the same shit uh, from before. So I'll probably finish that DLC maybe this weekend, maybe next weekend. Um, but at the same time, I'm just like, all right, well, this is this is, this is is all right. Um, it's more of the same. The game's not bad. It's just a matter of, I don't know, it's just annoying i guess like i like i'll 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 enjoy playing it but i'm also at the same time just like this is uh this is more the same of the reasons why i stopped playing it but it, the game looks great and i forgot like how good the actual game is after revisiting it like six months later um oh but... you know what i i hold on hold on before we get further into your your thing i finally did the upgrade for the ps5 mm -hmm. and resident evil 8 looks insane compared to the, the PlayStation 4 like the d the detail in the graphics is insane like it's actually crazy how realistic it looks um and I love the controller like the PlayStation 5 controller is awesome but um I I, I figured you were gonna start talking about Resident Evil 8 so oh I was I was, gonna, I was gonna get there but but eventually... I have to say something good before I take it on the chin real quick yeah so yeah so, uh, yeah, so I'm playing that. I also dived into Mass Effect uh, Legendary nice. Edition. Uh, that, that one so bad. That, that game has definitely shown its age. <laughs> what sure. do you mean by that? Well, I mean, it's not, I mean, they rehoused it, but, like, you know, I'm playing it um, uh, as, as a achievement hunter. I'm just, like, playing it on uh, one of the achievements for the Legendary Edition because they have each, – each game has its own trophies, and then there's an overarching trophy system with it, which I'm sad that there's no Platinum Trophy for the Legendary Edition itself, like for all three, but still I'm going to finish all of them. Excuse me. And then one of the um, – one of the trophies is like beat all the games on insanity difficulty. So I'm playing it on insanity difficulty and it's not really that hard. Like it's just like I'm granted I'm also playing it as like a sniper to help me cheese it a bit. But um it's not it's not the I don't know. It's just like you're you're trying to snipe people and like the enemies just pop up and they shoot at you, and they shoot at you, and they shoot at you, and then you can like snipe them in the head. It's just like okay. Well, I mean the game's like what, fifteen years old at this point or something like that? It's it feels like hugely dated or maybe it's not what that mass old. effect yeah the original mass effect you still but playing through one still playing through one yeah I, i've only i've gotten to the point where i got to the beacon um i just got past that part and then i think that's it so i played the first mass effect on pc two and three i played on playstation um i think i platinum both two and three 
or maybe two I missed one. Three I definitely platinum under that. But anyway, I'm gonna go back through. I'm gonna try to redo it. But it's just a matter of will I have enough time before other games that I want to play are coming out, which I'm actually not sure what other games are play are right now. It kind of feels like there's a lull right now in games that are coming I'm out. I'm perfectly okay with it because I have so much in the backlog to catch up on. Yeah, true. Yeah, I, I just I always pick something up on Game Pass, so it's like there's probably 100 games on Game Pass that I'm like, I want to play that. And now that there's not a whole lot new coming out, I wonder if that's, you know, the just from the pandemic, people trying to work from home and it's pushed back development cycles. and Probably, and which I'm I'm fine with. Like, it, it comes down to the, like, you know, if, if you know, don't release if it's going to be bad. So, like, I haven't even, still haven't put more than five hours into Cyberpunk. I would love to finish that at least. I created my character. That's all I've done so far. Got your 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 dong out on your character, and that's it. <laughs> yeah, but uh, yeah. So that and um, been fin- I finally finished Resident Evil Eight with the ex- mm. with the exception <laughs> mm-hmm. of mercenaries, and I fucking hate mercenaries. What is it? Is that the online thing? It's not online. It's like an arcade like shooter type thing where like you know you have to um, you know you have. Uh, limited items or ammunition and whatnot, and then you have to go through and like there's randomly generated enemies. Well, not randomly, but they you know know where they all are. Like the enemies pop up and like you can shoot them and keep it combo going. But then your combo runs out after like five seconds if you don't keep the you know shooting enemies and killing them. Uh, it's fine, but like yeah, you know, like one of the trophies is get an S throughout like all S score throughout all three all eight levels and I'm like I just finished level three getting my S score I was like this is the I have five more levels to do this on like it just it takes it takes a good 10-15 minutes to finish one level and I've done each one like probably seven times just to try to get that S score and I was like I don't want to do this anymore this is the worst and like honestly I will finish it but it's just it's taking so long and it's like it's Honestly, I would rather go back and replay all of Assassin's Creed Valhalla than do Mercenary Mode. Wow. That's a bold claim right there. I don't. Yeah, I remember chasing those S scores on, like, Devil May Cry and stuff back in the day. So I can't even imagine doing that. I'm yeah, it's... too old for that. <laughs> yeah, I just don't, too old for that shit. I don't have yes. the time for it. Yeah, I don't have the time for it, nor do I have the desire. I'm like, like if it was like, you know, if I could get, you know, I, I go through it once. I try to get myself familiar with the level. Do it once, whatever, fine. Then you learn that you learn the enemies, you kind of do it. So it's like by the fourth or fifth time, I'm like chasing that S score, and at that point, I'm an hour per level. And when I can beat the game in two and a half hours, I don't want to like them storyline. Like I just don't want to play the game anymore. I'm just, yeah. I'm just, I'm like, Get I have. It. Well, it's like artificially adding content to the game, being like, oh, here are all these levels you've already beaten for. Uh, we're gonna add some enemies in here. Uh, cool. Like this is great. I'm just like I don't want to. I just don't want to do it. I'm just kind of like, I'm I'm competitive enough that I kind of want to do it, but at the same time I'm like this doesn't like this is just for one. Tro- it's the last trophy I have before my platinum, and I just don't want to deal with it. It's just really frustrating. But other than that, the game itself is uh, it's, it sounds exactly like the Mercs mode and from RE6 games. Yeah, it is what it is. Um. But I feel like the, it looks like Operation Raccoon City or whatever the they they did like one game where it was like an action game. It wasn't an actual or like you could go in and have a machine gun just like and pick up like, you know, 200 clips for it and just continue on like you were like you were with like a squad of people and I'm like this is not a Resident Evil game, but yeah. it was. But I mean, it, there's no online play for it. That's the thing. It's not online. You're Wasn't doing it, it supposed locally. to be online? I have no idea. But yeah. it's just, it's just like, it's getting to the point where it's just frustrating. And I just don't want to do it anymore. And I'm just like, I can't, I just can't, I just can't do yeah. it anymore. I just, I'm, I have other games to play. Like the one hour of game time I have to play when I get home from work, I'm like, I don't want to spend it being frustrated and trying to play this game. So I'm True. just like, you know what? I'm going to table it for now um, for when I start the new job. And then I have time after work. Or even on the weekends where I'm not like crazy busy and I'm like, oh, I actually have free time now, so then I'm going to try it then, or maybe I'll try it later today. I don't know, but I have uh, I'm on level I'm on the fourth um, I'm on the fourth mission right now, um, and there's like each one has like there's like different stages to it. Like so, you can play like one mission is like you know the village, and there's like five levels to it, uh, and then there's the second one's like the castle. It's got like three levels to it, um, but then if you hit like if you screw up a, a combo. Like at the very last level, 
or the last stage of the level and you hit restart, I found this out the hard way. It starts you all the way back over from the beginning. And like this new one has like eight levels to it or eight stages to it. I'm like, okay, I guess I'm just gonna, if I screw up one combo at the very last thing at like, you know, 10 seconds left to get the max score to be able to get this S rank. It's just like, it's just not fun, but either way. It is so, what it is. I want to ask uh, Big Papa. So, how is Marvel Strike Force right now? Yeah. Because I I saw like I've been I, I actually it was funny I left the Facebook group I left the Discord I follow unfollowed on Instagram and now I get all suggestions on Facebook on oh you should check out this new hip game Marvel Strike Force and I'm like dude come on. Like, no. I think everybody heard that exasperated sigh. That's, that yeah, exactly. Tells you everything you need to know. Um, so they, uh, I'm, I'm in a Sigma Alpha flight, and we're like somewhere in the top 20 alliances. And so we were running Doom 100% every day, and just you know having fun with it and pushing ourselves to do the best we could. Well, that this week the new patch they instituted like a a hard gate where you have to have characters at ISO five. So they actually went through with it. Yeah. And the, they say it's a mistake, but of course, you know, that's their corporate speak. <laughs> sure. Not a mistake. Speak. Not a mistake. They knew, they but, knew about it. So they gated that you can't even begin a node unless you have five characters at that ISO. So it's not <laughs> like I can take, you know, doom in there and just single a node with doom. So I, you had to have five people so it, where we were doing like 100 percent on the daily doom raids a week ago now like we can barely get 30 on doom one because nobody has five characters for every trait that's pathetic man i can't believe they did that like yeah <laughs> not surprised the, the, i'm not surprised either but, but i just it's it's funny to me because in the last few days that i was in the envoy chat um I remember that that news came hit and every envoy like flipped basically. And they were begging Cerebro like, dude, this can't be right. Like, please, you know, like go back to your team. Just tell them this is not a good idea. And <laughs> it just cracks me up that they don't give a flying rat's ass about anything in that in terms of making their player base happy like yeah, I mean, they don't even guys who are normally like high spirits you know valley wolverthor people like that even they're like what what are you guys doing yeah it's it's it, it's really uh frustrating to hear that um but also like i said not surprised kind of saw that writing on the wall and, like after we had our conversations with cerebro about like stuff that's coming up like with the skins and like did they, did they ever do like the um uh the costumes no not the costumes the um well did they do the costumes for that game or not yet yep. yeah the and they're are in awful every... well this this patch they're actually pretty decent they, oh, okay. um so when they put in the new patch they show you what costumes are coming out for that season so this this patch has got like president loki because right. of the show that's about to start, and and Loki looks pretty good. Um, they're doing an event right now where you can get like a a non iced version of Iceman. Um, Interesting. As part of, you know, Pride Month, they're doing the all new X Men. I or yeah, all new X Men Iceman. So he's like not all iced up, and that's cool. Um, I mean, I... They, they do these events where you can you can pretty much get the costume for free. So like if you play your arena matches every day, you get you can get Iceman for free. I mean that's really what it should be like. Like if it's like, hey, if you it's it's always been like, hey, if you want to get this sooner, you should you can do it. But then you know, play normally, you'd be fine. But I just can't, couldn't bring myself to like log back in and try it out again and see what see what was new. Yeah, that's like, how they get you. I know, right? That's that's that, that is how they get you. But at the same time, man, not surprised as to what's going on. So which is unfortunate because I feel like that game was a lot of fun, but then they just kind of um they just kinda of shit on everybody who was interested in being a part of it. But yeah, yeah I say much. all the time. It would it would be really f like watching this company just burn everything that the that all the goodwill that they had, it would be funny if it weren't so sad. Yeah. It's cause like that's the that's the really the only Marvel game out there that's that is really worth playing right now. I know a lot of people still play Future Fight and uh, Contest of Champions, but 
I don't know. I just, yeah, I, contest. I really... They've they've run out of. <laughs> I I I had to stop playing. I I quit all mobile games. But <clears throat> the funny thing about champ contest and champions, do the <laughs> the actual champions they're releasing are straight up just memes. Like they're not even they they've run out of characters from the MCU to really, you know, drive it home. And it's it's funny like who I see them adding to the game. I don't know. They just like absolutely insane but hats off to their development team because that game's almost running for seven years and yes. it's still slaying dude so hats off to them for actually keeping their player base happy and listening to people and and adjusting things and not just sh i mean they're milking their, their whales but they don't like i don't know it's not as uh doesn't seem as like a shitty tactic i don't know but whatever it's all the same future revolution baby yeah future revolution yeah, well, one can hope. I mean, I've been we've been posting about that in D Discord about like this new Spider-Man gameplay. It looks better than like Marvel Avengers, which is crazy to me for a mobile <laughs> game. Um, kind of does, yeah. But like you know, we're. I mean, I'll be making content for that when it comes out. I'll be playing. I'll be streaming it and doing all sorts of stuff. So, good or bad, I will be putting some time into it. So I'm oh, looking forward to it. You know what I was playing for a little bit uh, before I decided no mobile games altogether is I tried out the My Hero Academia game, and I will say that that was actually a very good game. Um, I'm a fan of the anime itself, so, you know, I, I had to try it out, and they did a really good job of just, uh, like, the battles, the combat system is badass. I just... It's another one of those games where you got to dump so much time and so much money, and you know I just don't want to get involved in another one. But I thought it was great. I thought that they did a bang banger of a job on you know developing a mobile game that has so much to do in it, other than just like you know two or three game modes, which you know I think is really what a lot of these games have to do now to capture people's attention because yeah. everyone just blows through the the stuff so fast that um, if you don't have like a a lot of content in the game people are going to get bored real fast and move on to the next one yeah they're putting out a my hero um card game like tabletop card game too hmm. so like similar to magic i wish ashley was here so i could uh i'm sure he'd be interested in it but yeah they're putting that out uh it's got some real good buzz behind it it's supposed to be really good i wish wizards of the coast would straight up do what like World of Warcraft did or, or even EverQuest with progression servers and just be like, fuck it, we're going to go back to like the beta and alpha baby and we're going to repurpose this shit and start selling boxes of these cards back. And I swear people like you and I would probably buy those and act because because for us, it's like like for me, I'd love to like be able to go over to my my best friend's house get some Taco Bell, open up a couple boxes of magic cards and just start building decks with them, right? But if I do that with modern magic cards, it's like, it doesn't do it for me. But if we could do it with like the OG, you know, like uh, Arabian Nights or the Neverwinter sets, like those things would be so fun to just kind of redo. But I don't know. I, yeah, I, so I doubt like, they would ever do that. Before I was doing, you know, board game development and designing full time, I, I ran a game store. Okay. So... I was the general manager of a store or for I sold magic cards basically for a living, you know, and I, I always wish they won't do it because of the, the reserve list where they kind of like promise the players to keep the prices high on those alpha beta cards. They won't ever yeah. print those. But I was like, I really wish they would just do like a throwback set where they had all, you know, all of the power nine and all of the high priced cards that, everybody could just go and just have a blast with again. Yeah. And do, do, I mean, they could do them with the white borders around it. They don't have to do the original black border cards, you know, cause I think that's like the, the way that they got around that. That was unlimited or whatever they call it. Right. Yeah. I don't, I don't, a bunch I don't, of unsets, I think unglued and there's, I think there's a new one coming out too. But. Yeah. I think they would make so much money off of that. But as you said, they, they obviously want to, which, which is admirable to, to a certain degree, you know, they want to keep the, the core, you know, I guess history of their game intact without kind of watering it down. But I still think that'd be badass if I could just, you know, go buy a couple sets of a couple boxes of Alpha and just be like, Whoosh. oh, Black Lotus, Mox Ruby. They've Dope. been doing some crazy stuff lately, like uh, a Walking Dead set and like Transformers set. And... What? So, yeah, Wizards of just... the Coast or Magic, like yeah. for Magic the Gathering? Magic, yeah, for Magic the Gathering. Interesting. Where they like have optimus prime the card that you what get. yeah 
That's funny. So I actually, I don't, I don't know if uh, you've heard me say this before, but I didn't play Magic. I wasn't, I wasn't allowed to play Magic the Gathering when I was a kid because it was I've satanic. I've never played right? Magic either, yeah. not like outside of playing it on Xbox. Everyone really, time. yeah, I've never done it. So I played the uh, the Star Wars the trading card game back in the day, mm-hmm. and uh, that was a it was a lot of fun, man. I I feel like trading card games are amazing, and I only I, I wonder if things like Hearthstone kind of watered it down to the point where people don't want to get involved with them anymore because they're too used to just being like, hey, let me just play a couple games of Hearthstone real quick or something like that, you know? Pokemon and... is going nuts right now. I want to know what restarted it. Like, I think it, I think it was all the, the guys, you know, that are our age that uh, now have money. So, like, <laughs> you know, the yeah. Logic and Jake Pauls of the world going out and spending 200 k on the base set Charizard has got everybody rushing Pokemon right now. Pokemon can't print enough cards. They literally, like a set comes out, the stores get allocated to, you know, a couple boxes each, and then they sell out, and they're out for months. What? It's like, I mean, they just stopped, like, putting uh, Pokemon cards at Walmart and Target because people were waiting there until they stocked the shelves, and then, like, bum rushing them and getting into fights and people were Over attaching, Pokemon cards. Yeah, yeah, people were attaching trackers to the cars that restock the the section so they could follow them from, you know, department store to Get department out store. of here. So wait, 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 wait. And, so is this I, I'm curious cuz I don't think I under, I don't think I understand that what's going on. Is this the original Pokemon card game that was around in like 1996 yeah. or 98 yeah, or something like that. It's the same game. It's just uh, you know. So are cards. those cards more valuable, or are they still printing the same cards from that era today? So um, sort of like Magic, the OG cards are what's going to be the money, but they still print new sets, uh, three or four sets a year, if I if I remember correctly. I haven't played it in wow. a while, but um, and all those sets are like they print you know, a hundred thousand boxes and those hundred thousand boxes sell out immediately. And then you just play, I mean, I don't know how much in store play there is right now, but people trying to, to buy and get their decks, their online games going really well too. It's got a ton of users and you can build your own deck. Every pack you buy in real life unlocks a pack online. So what? That's crazy. I, I, I actually, I think I saw Chewburger playing it the other day on his Discord thing, and I was like, "Oh shit, you playing the OG Game Boy game?" And he's like, "No, nah, I'm playing the real thing." I was like, "Oh," because I, I don't know if you remember or not, but there was like an oh, there was like a really old school Pokemon trading card game on, yeah, on the, the game, game Boy. Yeah. Classic, straight up classic. <clears throat> Fun. Uh, Hellfire said that there's a new MMO coming out, Crowfall. I just looked it up online as we were just dis- discussing this. Um, oh, nice! It's uh, it a beta sign up right now, free beta access. Uh, I'm gonna, I might try it out. Um, I don't know what it is about, um, but you know, it looks kind of neat. I, I, I mean, I'm a, I'm an MMO fan. I'll, I'll, I'll try it out. I'm definitely gonna tr- play the a- Amazon MMO when it comes out, whenever the hell that happens. It's supposed Ashes to be... of Creation, or what's it called? <clears throat> At July 6th. So one month from today, the game supposedly will be coming out. So we'll have to see how that. Um, Bears. but yeah i'll try it i'll try it out is it uh is it like free to play oh i'm dying over here or is it more like um or is it more like uh other i don't know how it is but anyway we'll see what happens so, you know, I'll, I'll keep an eye on it we'll play it we'll see because i i start my new job july 13th so i'll have some time so but whatever I haven't seen so you got all kinds cost, of free so. time don't you up until not then. until no i'm working until of the day course. before i have no time off so but um but yeah we'll see We'll see what um, we'll see if it's subscription based or if it's free to play or whatever. I'll probably stream it later today. All right, cool. Uh, I'll definitely take a look. I see like that you can play it now for like sixty dollars. I'm like I'm not gonna spend sixty dollars on a game that I don't know anything about. But still, I don't got I don't got that I don't got that spare cash anymore. I got I gotta conserve everything because you know, Ash has a has a salary now and uh, I have to like I, I don't have like the willy nilly budget. Like oh I'm just gonna go do a commercial and make some. Make some extra money. Nope, doesn't work that way anyway. So, <laughs> but. Yeah, but at least you don't have to do those like night day turnarounds. Oh my god! Like I just had to do. Like I woke, Like I got home at like five o'clock in the morning yesterday, 
after working, I uh, had a 3 p.m. call on Friday. So that's the worst. Luckily, those days are over for now. But anyway, uh, what's what's coming out you guys are looking forward to? I know we talked about Future Revolution, which is the new Net Netmarble game, um, mobile game. So that's what I'm. I know I keep we keep saying it, but like I'm just saying it more in the hopes that the universe releases it sooner. But they are releasing more content about like, hey, here's what's upcoming, um, and the game looks good. We'll see. Well, they started with just like pictures, right? Of like, oh, yeah. introducing a playable character. Well, now they actually have like footage coming out. So, yeah. um, which I'm very excited about. I think that it crosses the threshold of being a mobile game, but it also has that MMO vibe to it. So, uh, yeah. kind of like BDO or Black Desert Online, like you were talking about. And mm -hmm. um, yeah, I think that uh, I think it's gonna be good. Hopefully. Hopefully, we'll see. I mean, I'm, I'll play it either way. Hopefully, it is. But if it's not, I'm I'm not going to be like butt hurt about it. But at the you same know what time, I'm surprised about why? How did Super War never come out in America? I don't know. It's just one of those things where like they they feel like it's just um, they, you know they 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 do like a soft launch and they try to gauge interest and if it's not like a huge interest then they stop because you know. After playing League on like on my phone, which I haven't played since we last played, yeah, yeah, like, I, I haven't And either. after playing League, you know, Wild Rift on my phone, I was like, oh, I could get into this, but then you know, then people got super sweaty and hard. It got hard to do stuff, and I was like, all right, well, I spent ten bucks on a skin, so whatever. I'm yeah. Uh, so Dude, you should but, see it now. It's even sweatier. <laughs> it's so sweaty, man. Like I, I, I can't, I can't do yeah, it. Yeah, people are like playing it. I mean, it's sad, dude. Or, uh, it's not sad. That's not the right word. It's crazy to me. Like, I like there's videos on the subreddit of watching people like how they play the game, and people are like having their phone down on a, on a countertop, and they're using like all of their fingers to like do things on the screen. And I'm like, just play League, man. Like, what? You're not even like. But I I know why because the skill cap for League is up here, and the skill cap for Wild Rift is down here. So that's the real truth. But um, yeah. Anyways. Uh, are you done talking about what you're looking forward to? Oh, that and Blood and Back for Blood that comes out yeah. in October. We'll be playing that. I'll be definitely streaming that game because I feel like yeah. that could be a fun like community game. And really, that's what it, all I want, right? I want a, a fun community game that everybody can hop into. It's like not sweaty, um, and then people are can just have a lot of fun. So yeah, hey, Left for Dead. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited. I'm excited for that. So, but um, well, you know what I'm excited to play. Or World I'm of Warcraft. To play. Well, I am excited to play more World of Warcraft, yes, because I have to tank Karazhan tomorrow night. I'm excited about it. But um, I'm super excited that I can now play Demon Souls when I want to. Oh, oh and I fired shit. It. Yeah, I'm pretty yeah. excited about it. So um, y'all will probably be hearing uh, my trials and tribulations of now that now that I have my uh, blood pressure and heart problems under control, <laughs> I, I'm going to go and play Demon Souls and put myself back in the hospital, I think. But um. No, I just I have to take it more seriously, man. Like when 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 you hit those rage moments, you just gotta kind of be like, okay, I'm just gonna shut the PlayStation off and I'm gonna go do some uh, yoga or you know go pet my cat instead of uh, son of a bitch. Ah. Yeah, <laughs> all that stuff. Yeah, 100%. yeah. Uh, but other than that, I pretty much I I don't know, man. I, I I feel like now that I have the PS5, I have to play Demon Souls. I have to play Returnal, and. I haven't been able <laughs> so funny story i haven't been able, i put up the show on facebook marketplace for 50 bucks and i've got no offers on it so i went to gamestop and i asked the guy if i could trade it in for another game you know considering it's sealed and i bought it from gamestop and he's like nah dude i'm gonna have to open it and i can give you like 28 bucks for it and i was like absolutely not like he's yeah. like well i mean that's the most you're gonna get for it and i was like i will honestly i looked at the guy i was like I will take twenty dollars from somebody before I would give you this game for twenty eight dollars just because of the way you said this to me right now. And he's like, "What the hell is that supposed to mean?" I'm like, "It's exact like you have terrible customer service. You could have just taken the game back and switched it out for me, but now because you said it condescendingly that I'm not gonna be able to get more than this, I'll go take less from somebody just to spite your ass." Okay, and I left the store, you know. And so that's the GameStop tagline these days, right? Terrible customer service. They're the sh they sh they suck. The guy was such a dick to me, and I was asking, like, I just walked in, was like, "Hey, man, like, you know, hey, I bought this, I bought this, you know, bundle online. I gave you guys seven hundred and fifty dollars, you know, for an overpriced bundle, and 
you know, I'm just curious if I can trade this game. And guys, like, oh no, man, like no, all I could do, all I could do is you, you'd have to give me the whole thing back, and I got to send it back to GameStop. And I'm like, that was a little, you know, extra. You could have just said I can't do that, but um, you know, he just kind of just total dick, you know. And it's like, bro, you're big getting paid like 12 bucks an hour working at GameStop. Like, why are you being an asshole to people? Like, you're not anything. Power special. trips over. Nerds. Yeah, power trips like a no. Well, like GameStop is so brutal. Like that that grind that they force you to do. And I mean, I've had a bunch of friends that work there, and it's like the metrics that you're forced to hit all the time. I understand why it wears on people, and like. It's not that happy-go-lucky, you know, retail job that all the others are. Like being a game manager at a card <laughs> shop. Yeah, I mean, it's just. <laughs> I feel like that. No, no, I feel like that's a, that's a fun. I feel like I I always wanted to do that when I was younger. It seems like a fun job. Like you actually, I loved actually... that job. Um, you know, you deal with assholes wherever, any type of retail job, especially. But you know, in a game store, I got to to share my passion, share my love with people. So. I got to see people happy every day, which, you know, it, it's a good life. And then he leveled up and went to go work for the people that make the games. Yeah, I'm trying to, to scratch that creative itch now. Nice. Yep. So, uh, Matt, Anyways, fuck GameStop. That's yeah. all I'm going to say. What are you looking forward to, Matt? <laughs> uh, I have heard that there is a Final Fantasy 13 remaster coming. Ooh. Where they're gonna Did they do all three of them? Actually, I, that's what I've heard, but I don't know how how like official that is. So I I'm feel like I read that as well. That's on the on the rise because I actually so I own Final Fantasy one through fifteen on disc, like and like the OG PlayStation versions and all the all the old cartridges and everything. But I never played thirteen. I bought them all when it came out. Never played them all. Oh, thirteen was great. 13 is the one with lightning, right? Yeah, so every yeah. once in a while I want to like pop in my Xbox 360 copy and you know spin that thing up. Oh, I spent so much years. time on 13. I never played X, X1 and X2 or whatever the expansions were, but dude, the, the yeah, FF13 was great, actually. So if they do a remaster of all three and you know put them back-to-back -back Mass Effect style, I'd definitely spend... Did you like fi Did you like 15? Did you like Final Fantasy 15? So I enjoyed I didn't it. Play 15 and I know you liked it. Yeah, but Charlie, you didn't go through that like hardest dungeon that I tried to get you to run afterwards. It was that's like, true. The, yeah, the platforming dungeon, which is the worst. Um, I liked 15 overall, but I didn't play it when it came out. I played it when it got to Game Pass. Oh, okay. So they had already fixed a lot of the things that people said they didn't like, but. Do they fix it's the definitely... dog shit combat system by any chance? It wasn't I'm that I'm kidding. Bad. I'm kidding. I know. I know. <laughs> I just Ew. remember using like everybody about the, the Adamantoys fight where the Adamantoys yeah. is like, the size of a mountain and it's supposed to take a couple hours. And I used that ring they give you in the new the like remastered version. I used that ring to just cast death and it died and I was like, Yeah, I got like the hardest you achievement out of the son way. Son of a bitch. Five seconds. <laughs> Yeah, that was terrible. It was the worst worst fight I've done in a long time, from what I remember. Um, but yeah. But either way, uh, who Hellfire throwing some spicy comments saying that Final Fantasy 15 combat is better than Final Fantasy 7 remake combat. So you know, I'm not even looking forward to. I don't. I, I I don't know that I like what they did with this seven remake system, where they're chopping up all the games and putting them up in different sections. But. Um, I'm not looking forward to this next one that they have. Like I was looking forward to Seven Remake. I th at first, I thought it was great, and then I don't know. I'm just mm. to go go old school, mon damn it! Like give me my turn-based combat system back or something like that. But that's. You know. I just know by the time they finish, it'll be 20 years. So in 20 years, I'll buy the remaster. I'll just play it all at once. Very true. Yeah, yeah right. Because <laughs> they're taking like two and a half years. Per copy, and they're they're I think they're making it like a six to seven game series or something like that. It's like, oh my god! I still haven't even finished the remake, and I really want to try. I really want to finish it, but then I'm like waiting for it to come out for the PS5 update, and then I'll finish it. Although I'm real close to it, real close to finishing it. But. Yeah, I agree with this with Platano. They lost the essence of the game, making it real time combat. I totally, I could not agree more with it. It's I mean, not. You can you can switch it. You can switch it back to the old style. Not a problem. Oh no, that it's like it's like automatic though. Like it, it it's still it, it's not. I don't know. There's just something to be said about 
and, and this is probably maybe my generation and now i sound like the old guy with the cane being like oh, back in my day but get off you my know porch yeah get off my porch back back in my day uh you know you actually a role-playing game required strategy and proper planning and oh, we strategic ain't got time thinking. For that. Yeah, well, not yeah. See, that is the mindset of everybody making these games is today. It's like, no, nah, we got to make it all like button mashing and fast and fuck and you know, zip zap, zoop zoop, zoop ping. Like you got, it's like all over that. Dude, that's that's somebody my clip that, please. That, somebody clip that. That is my interpretation of Final Fantasy 15. Is like, is Noctis like? Zipping up on something, zipping through here, going back up here, fling, fling, fling. He's like flying all over the place. I'm like, this is not a fucking Final Fantasy RPG game. This is Final Fantasy. Just had a baby with Devil May Cry, and that's Final Fantasy 15. Like, oh, which wow. is fine, but I don't like Devil May Cry. If I wanted to play Devil May Cry, I'd buy Devil May Cry 15 or whatever they're at now. But anyways, yeah. Hilarious. I try not to compare the remake to the old one, just because I know that it's. It's just a completely new game. Yeah, like, it's the two different worlds. They and, and they even like they even modified the storyline a little bit, which I don't like. But nah, that's just me being a pessimistic old fart. But anyways, yeah. But yo, I mean, the sixteen looks dope. Did they did they actually give a release date for sixteen? I don't remember my. Uh... I haven't seen one yet, but. I think it's like tw I think they said something about twenty twenty one, but there's no way it's coming out this year because they haven't done any. Mm -hmm real promo for it it'll be probably mid mid 2022 i think i like the fact that it's it's going um or was it awakening is what it's called um it's like i like the fact that it's like kind of going back to the old uh style of like medieval times like the old armor sets and all that sort of stuff that's less yeah. modern day kind of cool stuff but yeah they haven't seen anything in terms of a date or anything like that so i would i wouldn't i would guess uh holiday 2022 would be my assumption but, yeah, they just put twelve uh, Final Fantasy twelve Zodiac Age on Game Pass, um, so I think I might go through that again. Twelve yeah. is great. Um, twelve is a lot of fun. Was twelve twelve is the one with the big board of abilities, right? Uh, I, I don't, don't remember, remember actually. I don't yeah. remember twelve at all. They all they all get mixed up in my head. So. Yeah. Uh, wait, which one was no ten was the one with the with the Titus the, the underwater Titus and Waka. Yep, that was yeah, the underwater the, the Blitzball, Blitzball or what do they call it? Yeah. 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 Okay. Um, but anyway, it was a little bit of gaming news. Uh, I don't know if you guys heard since we were talking, we kind of talked about this in the Discord, but there's uh, Firaxis is making a turn based Marvel game potentially. Yeah. Uh, Super dope. Very excited about that. Yeah. So help me out here. I've never played XCOM, and oh, so Mish was, was comparing so it to XCOM. What is that style of like gameplay? Can you, can you give me a rundown? Yeah. So XCOM is it's turn based, literally what you're talking about, but strategy. So think of like, uh, um, uh, isometric, uh, top-down view, like three-quarter or something like that, where like you have units that like you can you move around in a uh, position. You have like certain uh, movement you can place them in. Like you know they have like you know they can go four spaces. Oh, end so turn. like tactics. Have you ever played yes. Final Fantasy Tactics? Like like tactics, yes. Yeah. So okay. it's okay. very very similar, but um, uh, XCOM is more about like aliens and that sort of stuff. And then you can you know you can okay. develop you can develop like new technology based on alien technology. And um, you have like Overwatch, uh, where character like you know, enemies move into a certain area and then they get sniped, that kind of thing. But anyway, it's 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 a lot of fun. It's real difficult, especially if you do like the Iron Man version, where it's like um, like you have no saves, your characters die very quickly, and then once they're dead, they're dead. So, but but it's it's very uh, it's very fun, and like I really enjoyed um, those games. And I have friends that work for Firaxis, so it was kind of cool. Of like you know, oh this this new game company who's based in in maryland and hunt valley maryland where it was very similar very uh near where i grew up I was like you know what let's let's um i'm gonna try this out and it was this is great but they started they they or they did that game and they're super super successful at it so seeing how they're taking this marvel ip and doing their own thing with it i'm very excited for that because they're definitely a company who cares about their games and they're not just doing it for you know the money they're really just doing it because they love what they do so very very i'm such a sucker for anything marvel based so yeah like i've been i've been a marvel comics fan you know forever and i've worked for them in the past and so anything with that marvel license i'm like super psyched about yeah so i'm looking forward to that uh we'll see hopefully they can make up for the blunder that is marvel's yep. avengers yeah. yeah 
I, one, th one I think you should always uh, input a womp womp anytime somebody mentions that game. Yeah. Womp but womp. Who knows? We'll see what E3 is coming up soon, right? It's like next month yeah. or it's like, yeah, it's so later this month. Yeah, so the announcements should be then. So we'll see um, um, if that happens. They're also talking about uh, that same company is potentially doing a Borderlands version of a uh, turn-based style. So we'll see. A lot of, a lot of cool stuff. So Borderlands, too. Yeah. But, um, Did you see the, the shot of all the characters from the movie? No, I only saw I only saw the um, the outline of that Jamie Lee Curtis posted on Instagram. So. Yeah, that's that like outline of all the characters, and Roland is like you know four feet tall because it's Kevin Hart. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a hundred percent. So we'll see we'll see how that goes. But um, anyway, uh, any of you guys play Bio Mutant or heard of that? No, Chu was telling me about it. I saw people streaming it. Uh, it looks fantastic. I, I actually really want to try it out. Yeah, and I, I, I've heard it's gotten it's. It looks like a good game, but terrible execution because of just looking at all the reviews online, it just seems like it's gotten like sixties across yeah. the board, like or like fifty to sixty reviews, just because apparently there's like game breaking bugs to it and so on and so forth. But um, it's almost like a trend. Like all these yeah, game studios what game are doesn't release with game breaking breaking bugs these days. Yeah, not not real sure. But dude, you know, Blizzard released a game from two thousand six, and it is riddled with bugs. It's incredible that they just there's just a ton of them yeah but i mean i'll probably play it when it goes on sale but i mean it's like it's i can't i can't really do open world games right now because i just have too many things to play so but um or you just would rather spend more time on assassin's creed i mean yeah and then, at this point. And then tell me how, how much you don't like it yeah and then complain <laughs> about it complain about mercenary modes and re and re8 so but yep. um, anyway, uh, let's see. I'm trying to. Oh yeah, the, there's a new 3080 Ti that went on sale and then immediately sold out. <laughs> oh, but I was yeah. real. I was like, <laughs> yeah. I, I was like, great. I have another chance of getting a different GPU. I've been trying to get a 3080 forever. You have and, a bot uh, set up because that's no. I, I need to know. I need to know. It's like it's ridiculous. But it's just like it's just it's just dumb. And so that's worse than trying to get a PS5. Yeah, it really is. But I was just like, oh my god, this is the. This is the worst, but you know they even made like the, the 3080 Ti's are not supposed to be. As somebody who's a fan of crypto, like I hate, fucking hate this. This is the worst. Like the fact that they're trying to do, or people are buying them to be, you know, they're marginally better than the 3090. And like I saw one actually turn around and it's like being resold for three thousand eighty dollars. I'm like, oh, so it's like they're trying to sell a 3080 for 3080. Great, that's fantastic. But um, but yeah, so that that came out and then immediately sold out, and then I'm just like. Okay, well, I hate everything at the moment, so I will stick to my 2080 Ti's for the time being, and then just uh, wait until something else comes out, and maybe in three years I'll be able to get a new graphics card. But I really don't need one for the time being. So. But it was just I was trying to upgrade for being able to have time to play video games again, but I don't need to. So we'll see. Uh, yeah. Do you guys have anything else? Any other comments, questions about uh, stuff? Comments, questions, comments are concerns about anything coming out. You guys looking forward to anything like that? Yeah, I'm concerned about my blood pressure as I embark upon Demon Souls. I'm concerned about getting to my backlog of Game Pass games. Yeah, Dude, the, there are so many games like Games Pass. It's overwhelming. I'm like, I'm like looking through it, and I'm like, how? It's almost like that. Uh, you know, there's those memes out there about uh, how you, you and your wife or spouse or whatever will sit there for uh, hours scrolling through Netflix to, to find the right thing to fall asleep to. I feel the yeah. same way with games pass. I'll just stare at it and be like, man, there's like 20 games on here. I could play right now. Like how do I even choose which one I want to play? You know, so and, I think games pass is my favorite thing to happen to gaming in a long time. Yeah. Like, I get so much out of, you know, just pick a random game, especially the, the, you know, indie games that are like 10 hours or so. I know I can start one of those. I'll finish it within the week. I can just pick any random one, and they're going to be, you know, decent to outstanding. So it's like, I've just got so much to play at all times on Game Pass. It's like, and and at the rate they put new games on there too. It's like I don't I don't really know that I need to buy that many new games day one anymore. Yeah. Yeah, unless it's something that I'm like fiending for or like looking yeah. like super looking forward to. I'm not. I'm. I'm hard pressed to really buy anything day one anymore. Um, because even if you wait like two months, it's probably going to go on sale at some point. Right. So, or even six months. Like like okay, cool. I guess I'll just like I know with like like 
some games that I'll play day one, you know, Assassin's Creed, obviously. I'll, I'll play Assassin's Creed day one. But then, like, if you just wait a good three or four months, like, it's on sale for, like, 40% off or, like, even 20% off. So, but, Or um, if you're like me and you buy Fallout 76, it's worth half the price two days after its release. Yeah, there's that, or too. Marvel Avengers, yeah. Oh! And I, I, suckers I, like me that bought both those games at full price. Yeah, and there's people like me who bought Marvel Avengers for PS5 and also PC, and I haven't played on Ooh. PC. So. I was yeah, like, oh, this is going to be my new game, guys. This is, I'm going to stream this. This is going to be, I'm going to be a Marvel's Avengers creator. And then I was like, nope. Not I'm normally an Xbox all. player, but I was like, I got to get that exclusive Spider Man. So I bought it on the PlayStation and. It hasn't still even happened. Still waiting on Spider Man. Like, Dude, that's, in, that's, a, that's actually incredible, right? That they touted that and it became such a hot topic of you know people getting like very upset about it and then they just never did it and probably never will no of course they won't do that game is that game money. is a dumpster fire of it's done it's done yeah it's i'm i see i'm looking at uh how many people are streaming it no i was looking at seeing when when they're supposed to be coming out with spider-man um and they just haven't did they come out with a release date with it? I don't know. Um, it's I see something like three weeks ago that says uh, Spider-Man DLC release date. I'm not going to play this right now. Oh, God. It's so loud in my ears. Um, uh, but I'm guessing they s probably haven't said much of anything. Um, I mean, they've been talking about Black Panther at this point for six months. I guess, yeah, right? I don't think Black Panther is even close to being out yet. No, but... Unfortunate, but this is, you know, um, they haven't really said. December, they're saying September to December. Yeah, I'll believe that one. I yeah, I, I doubt that. I'm assuming uh, a year after they promised, but even still, like, I doubt I'll play it. But, I mean, I'll probably be like, oh, this is fun, and then I'll do the intro special class, and then I'll, that'll be it. So, but anyway. Uh, anyway, thanks. Uh, that... That'll wrap us up today. Big Papa MJ, thanks for coming through and being a part of the uh, OG podcast, man. Thanks for I'm glad to be here, man. Thanks for having me. Of course, thanks yeah, for thanks always for joining, always being a active member of the podcast, uh, the uh, the Discord of the podcast. Um, and then yeah, thanks for and educating then, me on Pokemon cards. Yeah, and and yeah, board game yeah. stuff. It'd be fun. So anyway, you can find us on Instagram at OG Podcast. Our Twitter is over to yours, P. Our website is ogpodcast.fm. We're gonna get this episode and every episode where we talk about video games pizza ovens and uh how much resident evil 8 uh, mercenaries mode sucks so until next time guys you can catch us then in two weeks we're we'll be back talking about the latest of what we're playing what we're looking forward to in a little bit of gaming news until then uh make sure you go to noob.ogpodcast.fm to get 15 percent off any order or just use the promo code og15 so until then see you guys later peace peace Word. Okay. Nice. All right. Let's see. Who is streaming? Because I have to go to Costco. Uh, yeah, I think is Hellfire streaming? There. Yeah, Hellfire streaming. Hellfire streaming? Is he? He's streaming Crowfall beta gameplay. Well, I just came in. So how do you spell it? Was it? Uh, Hellfire X. I, I, I. I'm really going to have to, like, follow... Oh, it's... This broadcaster has indicated this channel is intended for mature audiences. I don't know that's that's our... Channel. Oh, no, man. I don't know if... I don't know. I... Yeah. So what, what kind of style oh, we, does we, Crowfall have? We have a... We actually have a face to the name with Hellfire? Holy Oh, my shit. God. Wow. He kind of looks like he could be Casino's cousin, honestly. I think it is Casino, actually. That dude, they, they, I feel like Casino is a scuffed version of Hellfire. That's that's pretty much is they're one and the same. I'm waiting for him, I'm waiting for his reaction on. I know, on me Twitch too. <laughs> <laughs> He's not listening whatsoever. No, I don't think he is either. Um. All right. Well, this looks good. I just it, apparently, if you just sign scuffed up, scuffed Casino. Um. Anyway, we'll we'll send we'll send a a raid to him. So um, how do you even spell his fucking name? Um, no, he's he's trying to get his he's trying to get his levels right. It looks like because he was just he was just looking at his headphones. So yeah, go say what's up to Hellfire. Um, I'm I just downloaded this myself, so I'm gonna take a look at it and looks pretty uh, cool install. But I mean, it looks I don't know. It looks like a dumbed down 
not dumbed down, whatever. But like, you know, I'm gonna try this. Um, maybe I'll try it out a little bit later. I'll, maybe I'll stream it too and see what's up. Um, if I have time, I just have to get ready for work tomorrow. But all right, yeah, I could get ready for my new job. Yeah, it's crazy, right? I'm gonna be. Fuck. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna be away all next week, so I'm gonna be up in New Haven. But anyway. I'll get some good pizza there. Yeah. Oh, I can't eat pizza anymore. Why? Yeah, I'm doing. I'm doing the full keto no carbs? thing now. So no carbs. Well, good for you. I mean, that's 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 um, the full keto thing is 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 great. It worked out very well for me. Um, but well, no, I, I have pizza. I lost 16 pounds in like uh, two two and a half weeks. That's good. Nice. Yeah. It, it definitely does work, especially if you keep up and stay in ketosis. It's great. But no, I do. Um, no, I can't have tomatoes. Acid. Oh my I my dude, you having some yeah. acid reflux problems? No, I just uh it just makes me poop myself. Ah. Gotcha. Immediate. immediate. Like I had a gotcha. sl slice of pizza. This is way too much information for the end of the stream, but I had pizza on Friday. I was like, oh I have like oh it's great, you know, I'm I'm going home, it's like three o'clock in the morning and uh, you know, I'll I ate a piece of pizza. Immediate. So anyway, thank you guys later. See you later. Bye. Peace. Yeah, I can't eat tomatoes either because I have like a million problems with acid reflux.